So this is a poem about um, my 20s. I spent my 20s in that psychiatric ward. And last time I was there, that was ages ago, to be fair. It was, um, in fact, it was that, that seminal moment in British history, uh, that summer when Jedward came into our lives and they were everywhere and I was nuts. And I thought that Jedward was a symptom of my psychosis. I thought I'd made that shit up, you know. So this poem is, um, it's set in psychiatric ward. I wrote it when I was there. And the name of it is the sentence that just went through my head endlessly in my 20s, which was this. Um, am I mentally ill or am I just a bit of a dickhead? And here, yeah, everything's broken. The activity cupboard's broken. The kettle's broken. This felt tip is fucked. And I don't know what these are for anyway. You just keep banging your head against the wall. We know that works. Come on in. It's great. It's like a holiday from life and the view from the day room of men pacing and holding it in till they don't. And women in crazy women coats with no hope and sick from trying and we smoke a lot. And every day at nine and twelve and five for meals we have food and we smoke a lot. Come on in. You're just in time. Beryl's kicking off and screaming all that stuff we all already know from the last time she kicked off. With more arms and legs and tears and the nurse's face and blood and later she'll come sedated into the day room tail tucked and shamed that we all know what we all know what we all know anyway come on in it's great it's like an Ian of blight and boarding school and all the girls have grown up and instead of matron we've got elaine the nurse who's overworked and going great from empathy and no time to care and lucy the young nurse i know it's just dawn on that this system it doesn't really work but once a week we have ward rounds and it's all straighteners and bobbles and <laughs> Beth thinks she's got a chance to go home. And Erica's dying to see her kids. And we wait. And wait. And wait. Until the Lord, our saviour, the psychiatrist, is ready to look at us in his peripheral vision with his surprising lack of interpersonal skills considering he's chosen to work with people and psyches you see some psychiatrists need to learn one sentence when someone tells you something horrific that's happened to them which they will because you ask them again and again just say this i'm really sorry that happened to you 